Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and here we have a super easy problem. Please put your calculators away because we're going to do this problem, and the problem is 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to what? Now, on the surface, this is like, you know, probably one of the most simplest math problems that you could uh, be given and you would be just like oh please i hope a problem like this is on my little math test or quiz because i'll get it right 100 percent of the time but here's a deal many of you are going to do this problem and you're going to get this wrong now a lot of you are going to be alarmed by that you're like what are you talking about mr youtube math man i'm going to get this right well listen go ahead and put your answer into the comment section Try not to think about this too much. You don't use a calculator. Just go ahead and just reason through this real fast and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then we're going to talk about exactly why some of you out there are going to get this problem wrong. And, of course, this is going to be a part of a more important mathematical uh, concept that you're going to want to walk away from. But uh, anyway, so we're going to get into this. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is super easy. Let's go ahead and see the answer. Well, most of you will come up with one to two answers. You're either going to uh, plug in a 2 into the comment section as your answer or a 3, right? So 2 or 3 really are going to be the only ways, uh, you know, the only end result in terms of um, uh, doing this problem. And you can see here, if you um, put two as your answer, unfortunately, I have to give you a little sad face, but don't worry about that. By the time you finish this video, you'll be smiling like those of you out there who got a three. But here is the question. So obviously three is the right answer. Two is not the correct answer, but why? Okay. Now, some of you uh, just got lucky, right? Let's say, let's just be honest about this and be like, well, I got three, but I don't know, two makes sense to me as well. I wasn't quite sure, but I just went with three. Well, we're going to talk about this right now. All right, so what are we talking about? Well, this is a real important concept in mathematics. And what we need to first define in this problem is what these things are, okay? So this is a what? Well, that's an addition symbol, and here this is a division symbol. But technically speaking, this is what we call mathematical operators, okay? Mathematical operators. So let's just kind of list some things down. So we have addition, subtraction, like multiplication, division. These are examples of mathematical operations. So given two numbers, you can do different things with, let's say, two numbers. You can add them, you can subtract them, multiply, divide them. Again, we are performing a mathematical operation. And the main um, kind of question in this problem, okay, the reason why people either got this problem correct or they got this problem wrong is it all depends upon which one of these operations did you do first. Did you go 2 plus 2, okay, first? Because if that was the case, you went 2 plus 2, that's 4. And then you took that 4 and divided by 2, that would have given you an answer of 2, okay? Uh, but if you went 2 divided by 2, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 1 plus 2, that would have given you an answer of 3, okay? So it all depends. What do we do first? Do we do addition first? Or do we do division first? Does it make a difference? It absolutely does because we come up with different answers. Uh, so the, really the question is, is what order uh, of these operations do we do? And this is a really hugely important uh, topic in mathematics. It's called the order of operations, okay? It's basically, hey, what, when we have a problem, a math problem with different mathematical operations involved, what is the order? What do we do first? What do we do second? What do we do third, et cetera, et cetera? Well, let's go ahead and answer that question right now. And here is how we answer this question. So uh, this is an acronym, okay? It's just a, a mnemonic. It's a memory aid. Uh, so uh, most people know it as PEMDAS, and there, there's all kinds of little sayings uh, that kind of uh, help you remember this. And this is basically going to give us the order to do these operations. So there's a little phrase that goes along with this. It says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's one way you can kind of memorize this or PEMDAS. Either way, most people 
have learned the order of operations this uh, using this acronym. Okay. Now, if this is kind of you know bringing back some memories, if you've been out of school for a while, like yeah, I think I remember that. Well, that's excellent because this is very very important. So let's go ahead and, and uh, review what uh, this PEMDAS means, and then you're going to see how easy uh, this problem actually is. Okay. So the P here, all right, we're going to do, this is our order to do these operations. So when we're faced with different operations, we have to go through this checklist and we're going to be uh, taking this checklist. We're going to go through it from left to right. Okay. Left to right. So here is the left, uh, the left uh, uh, letter here is P. Okay. So we're going to start here and we're going to work our way across and uh, do whatever uh, we need to do if, in fact, we have any one of these situations. So what's the first thing? Well, the first thing is P. That sounds for parentheses. So anytime you see parentheses, let me give you an example. 3 plus uh, uh, 8 divided by 2 and parentheses. So if you have a situation like this, you always do what's inside of parentheses. Um, but the P actually stands for, it's really technically grouping symbols. So it's parentheses like this, brackets like that any squiggly things, and it's, um, you're going to work from the uh, innermost parentheses working out, okay, so in other words, if I have parentheses, and I have another set of parentheses, and more math to do out here, you're going to work for the innermost, by the way, this is just a quick, quick review of the order of operations, you really want, uh, there's really, um, you know, in this short little video, I'm not going to be able to go in really a lot of detail, you'll get, certainly get the basics of the order of operation, but you need to practice this, uh, so you can really get these habits and procedures down. Uh, if you need help with this kind of stuff, uh, a couple quick re uh, recommendations. I have a math foundations course, which is an excellent starting point, but I probably recommend for most of you checking out my uh, pre-algebra course that will really help you with the order of operations. Okay, so let's continue. So you're going to do all, anything that you see in parentheses, you're going to uh, take care of that first. Now, if there is no parentheses, you know, you just kind of disregard that. The next thing is E. Okay, now E stands for powers, but really E stands for exponents. So if I have 2 to the third power, this is 2 to the third power, this little 3 up there is called an exponent. Okay, this 2 down here is called the base. This is the exponent. The entire thing is a power. 2 to the third power. This 3 is an exponent. So we use E. As a reminder, that basically means do powers. So if we see any powers in our problem, we're going to do that next after we do all our stuff in our parentheses. Okay. Again, this is going to be uh, dependent upon if, in fact, you have, um, you know, any powers. If you don't, you just can disregard that and you keep going. Okay. All right. So again, this is just a general overview. You really need to practice this procedure to get really good at it. But anyway, so we're going to do all parentheses, and then we're going to do all powers, e or exponents. Now here uh, comes the part where most students get uh, confused, and I'm going to unconfuse you right now. So the next two components to this is M and D. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. Now, 99% of people out there uh, really think that this means, they know the term PEMDAS, but they mean, they think that this means an absolute turn. So you always, always do multiplication. Then you always, always do division next because it says PEMDAS. It says right here, M and D. Well, that's not the case. What you're going to do is multiplication and or division. It depends on what you see first from left to right. So if you see multiplication first from left, let's just kind of see like this, uh, 10 times 2 divided by, uh, let's say, 4, okay, here, you're like, oh, I'm going to do multiplication first uh, because it's uh, it's to, it's what I see from, from the left, right, the first, what I see from going from left to right, I see multiplication first, so I'm going to do this first, so 10 times uh, 2 is 20, that would be correct, so this would be 20 divided by 4, which of course would be 5. But let's kind of reverse this here for a second, and let's do 20 divided or 10 divided by 2 times 5. Okay, so would I do multiplication here first? No, you would not do that. Okay, because in this case, division is before multiplication, going from left to right. So it's either multiplication or division, or division or multiplication. Depends on what you see from left to right. And it's the same thing with this A and S, that's addition and subtraction. So either you're going to add and then subtract if you see it in this order, or subtract and then add, okay? So 
Again, these are very common uh, misunderstandings about the order of operation, but here's the bottom line. When we look at this simple, lovely problem that we're dealing with here, we have two plus two divided by two. So what are we gonna do first? Well, we're gonna take care of any multiplication division uh, definitely before we deal with any addition or subtraction. So that's why we have to do this first, okay? We're gonna have to do division before we get into addition. So now, knowing that, we're like, oh, okay, uh, this is uh, becomes very uh, obviously easy to do. All right, so now because of the order of operation, I'm gonna take care of this part of the problem. Two divided by two is one, and two plus one, of course, is three, which is our answer. All right, uh, hopefully, okay, you're not going to feel bad about getting this problem wrong because a lot of people, um, you know, did get this wrong. And actually, it's pretty cool that it, you did get this wrong. And you might be saying, what are you talking about? You know, that's not cool. Well, it is because, listen, you, uh, that means that you hopefully, if you're with me at this point uh, in the video, that you learn, you know, this kind of misunderstanding about, you know, how to do um, a math problem when there's multiple different operations. This is really important stuff, okay? Anytime you make an error in math, you should never feel bad about it. You should only feel bad about it if you don't correct your error, if you don't learn anything from it, okay? How do we learn in life? You know what? Uh, the way you learn in life is by making errors and improving. So hopefully, you know, this little video was an interesting thing and even, uh, you know, it's a win-win situation as far as I'm concerned. Whether you got, if you got this right, and you knew why you got this right, that's excellent. But if you got this wrong, but now you learned something, that's a win as well. Okay, so if this video was interesting and helpful, even to the slightest, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.